Are you ready? Today we are going to share three tips to learn wing foiling. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for tuning back. Look, I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Gwen. We're ready to start this one off. We want to say thank you guys. We appreciate you. But today we got a special one, and I'm kind of putting Gwen in the hot seat. This is going to be exciting. I want to ask Gwen, because he's been doing tons of lessons, and this is going to help you guys. We want to cover the three most impactful, most helpful points that he's seen in this whole time doing all these lessons that he can help somebody with wing foiling. So I want to ask you, tip number one, that's the most impactful thing that can help somebody when they're learning how to wing fall. What is the thing that's coming across like the most repetitive that you see? Well, first I would say, you know, we've talked about it uh, before, but it's gear choice. And I know it's a tricky one because when you come into the sport and you don't know anything, it's very confusing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are talking about front wing, stabilizer size, fuselage, Use gear, mass, good prices. Bird, long, short, narrow, big. Um, a lot of uh, confusion out there. So, but, uh, like just gear choice is is the number one mistake when you don't know anything about the sport. Maybe you are trying to look for a good deal, um, and that's where you can make some wrong choices. So, so what should they do? First step would be to reach out to wingfoilprocenter.com. We can help you personally pick out the right uh, gear. But just overall, I would say, you know, you never want to go too small. Even if you see a good deal, or even if you are thinking long term, I just want to buy a bond. I'm going to good for. I'm going to be good for the next 20 years. Wrong choice because it's going to take you 20 years to progress <laughs> to the point where you could have been there in one year. So make sure that you have a bond that's big enough that's giving you more time on the water, more time on your feet, more time to try to get up on foil, more time to be up on foil. Um, and and sometimes, you know, I feel like, you know, the sport has evolved to the point where in terms of burn choice, which is a very key aspect at the beginning when you can't even, you know, foil yet. So the burn is the most important. Um, something that's like very big but short can be very tricky to ride, actually very unstable, even though it might be like 130, 150, 160 liters. But, it's like but if it's like four, eight, 160 liters, it's gonna be very hard to balance on. And that's the kind of design, unfortunately, unfortunately that we see a lot with inflatable boards uh, that are like pack a lot of volume in a short size. And I see a lot of people having a hard time with that. So the new design, you know, we don't have to go to that extreme, but you know, we've learned, we've learned a lot about downwind burns and you can still find some of that in a beginner burn. So something around like, you know, 130 to 160 liters, um, not too short. So like anything from like six or to like seven, five, like is going to help you that forward and back stability is going to be key. Um, so volume and length is helpful. You don't want a narrow, you don't want a downwind board, you don't want something 19 to learn, that's 19 wide to learn, it's going to be too, too hard. But um, that, that would be, the, the burn choice is probably the biggest mistake. And then foil, just go big, wing, go with enough power, that's going to help you. And I would just say, usually the signs come, like if somebody comes to you and they're like, hey, this is a really good deal on this board. It's usually there's a reason there's a really good deal on that board. So just do your due diligence to ask questions. We're personally answering comments and questions to help people. So um, that's the first reason, number one reason. Number two, number two helpful I would, tips. I would say, again, it's pretty straightforward, but it's putting in the time. Putting in the time, you know, the time you have available to you, of course, you know, you might be busy, you might not be able to make every session. But what I want to say is time is so valuable, so, make sure you go out even when conditions are, let's say, a bit too light. Um, to me, there is so much to learn from riding in light condition. Um, I, I've seen, you know, people here in Stuart, like so dedicated, every, every day out there, no matter, no win or win or whatever, I see them out there 
and they know they have no chance of getting up on foil and they are still out there you know practicing balance turning so you answered the perfect question if, you know everybody watching this will go oh man there's not enough wind for me to foil today that doesn't mean you shouldn't go out and try exactly. because you can learn so much with the wing you can learn your balance you get even more skill with the wing so get and put that anytime you can put the time in it's going to help you tenfold in the future and i think Gwen nails that one. That is definitely a key point. So, um, and 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 diving in number three, what is like the most common thing that you see, other than just not putting as much time in? What is it? So I would say using your community, you know, to help you. So if you just think you can do it on your own, it's you can. It's just gonna take you longer. So embrace the community. I feel like the 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 wing falling community is so welcoming. Yeah. And if you are a beginner, don't think that, oh no, those are like the good guys, they're not going to want to talk to me because I'm like <laughs> brand new or whatever, I'm like a cook and... No, go to the spot and talk to everybody, ask questions, um, it's, you, people are going to help you 100% no matter where you are. And if you are somewhere where you don't have that community because you are in the middle of the country, in the lake, nobody else is spoiling. We're here to help. Still fired up. <laughs> we are here. This is why we made this YouTube channel is that so we are bringing the community to you if you don't have that community. Later, you will be, uh, it will be your turn to help somebody. Um, but right now, if you are brand new to it, talk to people. Yeah, man, ask the questions. I mean, we, we learn the hard way. So we try to share. We don't always have the right information, but we share the information because hopefully it can help people. And the reality is if you think about everything in your life that you've done, a lot of times it's scary to ask the questions, especially like somebody who's really talented at something. You're like, can I ask him this dumb question? We always say that like, there is no dumb question. Ask a question. Questions are good. That's how you learn anything. Sizes, volume. Should I go out? Should I not? Should I go? That's so important. So, so do that. Open it up. And I love the community side because you'd be surprised. It's a very special foil community. And I think uh, even better is the reason why people get into it because people are willing to help. They're willing to go out with you. They're willing to try it with you and struggle with you. And I think that's what makes it so awesome. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just quick story. This is exactly how I got to where I am. You know, one day I decided I'm going to reach out to this guy. He's like world champion. He's like, he's never going to reply to my Instagram message. No way. I'm like, you know, nobody. I'm like, I was like, block, block, and, block, uh, block. And that was Damien a few years ago. Block, He block. got back to me, stoked. And then he got, Here we are. He, you got me into the spot. So like, this is what I'm talking about. You never know, you know, who you're going to meet. So don't ever hesitate to reach out, ask questions. Um, and it might change your life. I love it. Well, I'm super grateful that he came into our lives, helped the whole foiling world. I mean, Gwen has literally been a staple for the foil industry, so it's pretty special how things work. That's why I ask those questions, open the doors. You never know what's gonna happen. Um, you know, as we wind this down, those are three important points that he sees, you know, on a daily basis. So I think it's very valuable and we just wanna share that to remember and remind everybody. And for those getting into it, very key points. We always end these videos with something special and today I want to share with you guys like, <clears throat> you know, being grateful for this moment right now. And the reason I say that is like our world is fast paced, you know, it's uh, people are spending a lot more money than maybe they want on your normal things like food and just normal living and people are getting stressed out and you're worried about do I have the right jobs? How am I going to support my family? And I'd say sometimes we think too far, like way too far into the future of like all this stress and all this problems, the stock market's going to crash, the housing market's going to crash. And like we, f we forget about like right now, like what am I grateful for right now? Like my beautiful wife and my kid and like she's saying new things to me and like the moment right now, live in it, make sure to be present in it. And a lot of times we jump ahead. We, we always think better, greater, bigger, and that's fine. Have those dreams, have the goals, but don't like stress so hard on it that you ruin your day to day and you ruin the people around you day by day kind of presence because you're negative you're like oh man we don't have this we're not doing good we're and so just remember be in the moment i think it's super crucial that's it so i hope that all of this helped you you learned something and if you have something to add on to what we everything we talked about you know drop it there's always you know we've make, made ton of videos we always forget things we don't always get things right <laughs> and so you are part of it please Join in, uh, drop, your, your, inspiration, drop, drop your, your tip, 
uh, whatever helped you, um, and if what you say, if you think what we said is totally wrong, leave it in there. Let, let us know. <laughs> let everybody know. We are open to uh, everybody's feedback. So thank you so much. And on that note, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah.